Hello, welcome to Zim Capture. I'm inventor Dan Zen, and Zim at zimjs.com is an open source framework to make interactive media on the HTML canvas using JavaScript and CreateJS. In this capture, we're going to take a look at a scroller. That's how we can animate a background using a Zim scroller. All right, let's take a look at an example. Here we're on the Zim website, zimjs.com. I'm just going to scroll down until we find this one right here, Side Scroller Animated Background. We press on that, and there's the images loading. And isn't that cute? Oh, you can adjust the speed of the scroller as well. There it is going fast, and there it is actually reversing. Put a mask on that as well. So what we have here is a background that's moving very slowly, a middle ground, and a road that's moving a bit faster. Um, the, uh, yeah, I think the foreground is moving just a bit faster than the road. So it's, it's got that parallax effect, but with a scrolling background that keeps on repeating. So the trick is here, we don't, we don't have to do all these layers. The trick to a scroller, each one of these, by the way, is a different scroller. The trick to the scroller is that it repeats. So it takes a copy of your background and it handles the adding and the removing. Oh, I can see it right there. There's, see that edge? right there that means the it takes a, a clone of it and it puts this one at it and then when these ones move over too far it takes the one from over here and swaps it to the other side so it's got that swapping effect going on all right let's take a look at how we can build that then here we are in a fit template and we're going to bring in some assets mm, yeah it might look like frame dot load assets and we will pull an array that has space dot jpeg comma and a rocket rocket dot png background transparent and these are in the content folder the content folder out there like so so no slash there because this is a relative folder and we have a slash at the end to show that it is indeed a folder. We capture an event when this and when this content loads frame dot on complete complete. <laughs> we'll call this function right here. And in this function, we'll do everything including updating the stage. That is the end of assets. All right. And in here, let's put the space on the stage. So that would look like uh, we'll put it in a variable var space is equal to a frame dot asset, a single asset space dot jpeg like so and we can add that to the stage if we're in the the newest version of zim at the moment 4.5.1 we've just added this thing called add to which allows us to chain this if we want add to or we couldn't chain it before with an add child add to the stage like so we can also scale it on there. I think we're going to need to scale it. Let's just see what it looks like at the moment. I'll view that in the browser. There it is. That's the edge of it there. So yeah, we need to scale it a little bit. And we can chain that dot scale. We don't have to. We could do these on separate lines. 1.2, for instance. And let's take a look. Alrighty, looks good. There's the space on the stage. Shall we take a look at the rocket? Rockets can be roughly the same. We'll call this a var rocket and it'll be rocket.png. PNG. We will center reg this on the stage. Do we need to center reg? Yeah, we might want to scale it as well. So we'll center the registration point so that it scales nicely. Center reg on the straight stage and we'll scale this one to like point seven or something like that and let's take a look Ooh, rocket on the stage let's 
reduce it a little bit, 0.6. Also give it uh, rocket alpha. Now you don't want to chain this on the end of that alpha. Well, you could have if it were a method, but it's not. You don't want to chain the alpha on the end of that. The alpha would return the number that the alpha is set to. So that would put the number inside a rocket, which might be fine if we don't need to use a rocket again. Uh, which we may not have to, but anyway, alpha equals 0.9, just to put a little bit of uh, space glow on that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's the rocket on the stage, and now we will scroll the background with the scroller. Our scroller is equal to a new zim.scroller. And let's go see what parameters we've got for that. So we pop on into the documentation here. Zim docs scroll scroll x watch out scroll er scroll er right there. So a zim scroller backing speed direction horizontal and gap fix. I'll just pop that right in here, like so, like sometimes do. The backing, the speed of it, the direction, that's one or minus one for forward or backward, right or left or up or down kind of thing. Horizontal is sets is default to true for a horizontal scroll like we saw in the Flintstones example. And then a gap fix, sometimes if things are a little bit long or something or things are going slow or fast, you get a touch of a gap, you can... Um, fix that a little bit like that read about that and try it out so um, var scroller is equal to a new scroller the asset we're scrolling is space comma the speed will scroll we can scroll fast uh, point I'm gonna just scroll at point five and see what that looks like this is space in space unless you're going through asteroids in space you really don't want your space stars to actually scroll very fast unless you're just, you know, you have a need for speed. All right. And the direction, we'll try a one and just see what that looks like. And horizontal, uh, false. Won't worry about a gap fix. And let's check her out. Mm, my spaceship is landing. <laughs> okay. Negative one. Negative one here and refresh. There, my spaceship is going forward. So there's the spaceship going through space. And was that our gap right there? Let's just refresh that. Is it that fast, the gap? It might be. You, you want to make sure that your pattern is long enough that, oh yeah, it probably is because that would have been the set at the top. Your your pattern is long enough to, to um, fit on that screen, you know, and actually rotate. So we do have a bit of a gap. I wonder if a gap fix of um, one will help that gap fix. Let's set something severe like 10. I, I imagine that's a 10 pixel. I don't see any gap, but what I can see right there is indeed that it's overlapped it a little bit. So that's what that overlap is doing. Uh, I'm going to just try a gap fix of one on that and refresh. Sometimes I've noticed a gap fix on a very, you know, a slower than one speed sometimes occurs. And now I, eh, still that could have just been, anyway, no gap, touch of an overlap still, but that's probably the pattern. Then. Okay, now that looks all right. We might be able to jazz it up a bit, but that's sort of what I was wanting to show you. Jazz it up again a bit. How about we do a double? Let's let's have two of these and kind of make it look a bit more nebulous feeling. So a double var space two is equal to space dot clone. And do we need to add that to the stage? Yeah, we still do dot add two stage. Make sure that you add your backgrounds to the stage before you add them to the scroller. Now when we clone it we'll actually take the scale of it as well and the position so just watch that and we'll make a second scroller as well. 
var scroller two, and we'll scroll space two, and we'll make this one go at a little bit of a different speed. How about point four? And let's, oh, um, that would just sit right on top of the other one so we wouldn't see it at all, unless we set the alpha of space. So if we set the alpha of space before we add it to the scroller, then the second copy that is required to do that swapping will have the alpha set. If we set the alpha of space to after we make the scroller, then that second copy would have already been cloned and would not receive the alpha of the first, you know, so you would all of a sudden part way down, it would be like, oh, this is no longer alpha. So we want to make sure that we have all the settings to space or, or to the background that we want before we put it into the scroller. So we will say space to dot alpha is equal to 0.5. We'll try, so that's half. All right, and let's see what she looks like. So we refresh that. Okay, so initially we get this uh, blur, like a blur because every you sort of recognize where where the patterns are. Eventually, I'm not sure. It might want to. You might want to flip one, possibly, or even pull another. You know, ideally, probably you would pull another image of space, and then you would have those going at slightly different speeds with the alpha. It sort of looks like an underwater craft, or something like that. You know, it looks all right once it gets going a little bit. So it is possible that we could delay that. How about we? delay that. Let's put all of this stuff into an interval or a timeout. So set time out and a function and squigglies and this is the stuff we'll put in that function. And then we'll say uh, we'll wait a delay I don't know, two seconds maybe. And we'll give that time to separate. So that that will give time to separate, but when we're going to see the scroller with, with, and we won't see this stuff, so maybe what we should do is go something like var foil is equal to a new zim dot rectangle stage width, comma, stage height, and that will be black by default, and then we can dot add two. Now remember the add two is available as a 4.5.1 so just watch you'll need to update that otherwise just do this on two steps that's adding it to the stage. So now we've got this foil that's covering it and after two seconds we'll introduce these other ones. We'll want to make sure that the foil is above those so we can go foil dot add to stage again <laughs> or we could add those other ones underneath the foil but it's probably just easier to re-add the foil on top and then we want to animate that so dot animate and we can animate its alpha to zero in a nice lengthy time of I don't know, maybe five there we go so this will fade in our whole scene. So it's going to end up delaying too, which may not be optimal, but we could put a, a logo in front or something like that. We leave our scroller, our first scrollers going at a nice fast rate. Our second scroller will only start at this point. So it's going to come in later. And that, that may help us with that, that issue. Uh, we're still going to get a period in time though at some point when those two patterns come together again, but for now. Uh, this probably get us by. So we wait. Ooh, not bad. Let's push one just a little bit more. This first one will be going point 0.6. We'll call it and we'll give it a... I gotta hesitate to wait much more than two seconds, but let's check it out now. Space. 
So if we were to increase those speeds, you'll you'll get the idea. So there I am just adding two to each of those so that it increases the speed so that you know that the scroller can go faster if you need to. So here we are waiting. We wouldn't have to wait as long because that gap would have increased by now. And so here is our craft going through a faster space. Cool. I am Inventor Dan Zen. We were taking a look at a scroller, and this has been a Zim Capture here at ZimJS.com. Have a great day. Space.